Hip hop culture started at a party. Okay? Hip hop culture starts at a party. Hip hop dance, freestyle, starts at a party. A party in the club, a party in the park. Everything is about the party. It's about having fun. You know, if you're not having fun, then why are you doing it? Say the four elements of hip hop are emceeing, DJing, uh, b-boying graffiti but for me the four elements are peace unity love having fun you know having fun is the most important part <laughs> if you don't have fun how can you be at peace how can you show love if you're not having fun uh, a lot of dancers are way too serious when they dance the dance is about sharing love for the music and the culture, not about being angry and, uh, and aggressive. It's about you're supposed to have a good time. Even the most hardcore gangsters and thugs in the club in, 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 the, in the back in the days when it started, even if they were really hard, when they hear a good beat, they're like, Ah, because they have to dance. It makes them have fun. Even if they're really trying to be like, really, uh, but when they feel a beat, it's like, uh, 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 <laughs> because even then they realize, I didn't come here to be a gangster. I came to have fun. <laughs> I'm still a gangster, but I'm gonna have fun. <laughs> so it's very important that you, you know, you have joy and love for what you do. You can be serious. You should be serious if you want to, you know, learn the dance and train in the dance. Yeah, you can be serious, but be serious about having fun. It's much easier when it's a good time. When it's difficult, you don't want to do it. <laughs>
and people just hang out and you know or sometimes you'll see b-boys having a, a cypher or or dancing on the street for money and then you'll see uh the other kids from the light feet they're having battles so it depends but it still happens now it's just not the same as before now the 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 they have uh, what they call noise ordinance. So now you can play the boombox super loud because the people will complain and the police come, oh, you have to turn it off. That started because of us back in the day in the park. <laughs> Many boomboxes, everybody play the music loud and it's too loud. You know, at first you can play for one hour, two hours but then three hours, four hours. We start 9 p.m., 10 p.m., 11 p.m., 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m. The people in, in, around the park is like, no, no, you have to go home now. <laughs> so they call the police and they, they make the law that you can't play music too loud at a certain time. So during the daytime, it's okay. Nighttime come, police come, no, 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 no. Goodbye, turn it off. In the past, before hip hop, go all the way back to original jazz and tap dance. Uh, in uh, maybe almost a hundred years ago, 1920s, 1930s, they had original jazz dance, and then they had you know tap dancing, and then you had the studio version and the dance hall version, which is the club version. Now the club version is the original version, but when the people who can't go to the club want to learn the dance, where do they go? To the studio. So you have the club version and the studio version. Now you have people teaching the studio version who never went to the club. So they are not teaching the correct version. It's a new version of the club version, but a studio version. So it's a little bit different and it becomes a little watered down. So that happened a hundred years ago with a different dance. It happened with jazz, it happened with tap, it happened with salsa. Now, it happens with hip hop. You have the studio version and the original version. You have what you call LA style, which is from New York. <laughs> LA is Hollywood. It's where you do commercials and videos and movies. So for the movie, you have to smile. And <laughs> In the club, you don't. Because people will laugh at you. But for the movie, you know, so you, have, you get a, a different version to play for, you know, or commercial version, you know, for the, the, the people who don't know anything. Don't go to the club, don't go to the studio, never see anything. They see it on TV and they're like, yeah, I can do this. <laughs> That's the commercial version. Like you see a, a, a TV show and there's a guy on there and it's like, oh, show me the latest move. And he goes, and people think, oh, that's great, ah! <laughs> but that's not the latest move. It's not even good, but you know, that's what happens when you have a commercial version. But you will have some good commercial version. There are really good dancers that do studio hip hop. You know, there's one uh, a dancer, his name is Lyle Beniga. He does really good choreography and he has hip hop and you know, he has the original and the studio version together. He makes it really look good because he knows both. He teaches in the studio, but he goes to the club and to the street to learn the original and put it together. If you want to be the best dancer, that's what you do. If you just want to be commercial, then you're doing LA style. <laughs> if you do the whole culture, then you're doing hip hop. Uh, what the, the difference between the two is why. Why do you do it? If you're doing it for commercial to make money only and you, you, you only care about TV and movies 
and 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 battles then it's different than if you're doing it because of the culture with the culture if there's no tv there are no battles there's no commercials you know there's no stage show or nothing there's just the music and the club are you still going to do it exactly that's the difference why you have some artists who uh, they use the culture to do something else. Like they start at one part of the culture and then they expand into something else, into Hollywood. Like uh, Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah, great rapper, great MC. But she became an actress. But she was still an MC. She's still Queen Latifah. She didn't change her name. <laughs> she didn't go by her real name. She's, you know, in the movies, call me Queen Latifah. <laughs> because that's where she, she didn't leave where she came from. She didn't change for Hollywood. She changed Hollywood for her. Same thing with Ice Cube. Ice Cube is from NWA. Ice Cube is fuck the police. But Ice Cube is also, you know, where, uh, you know, Ice Cube is, is also uh, an actor, you know, but he doesn't go by his real name. He goes by his name in the culture. I'm Ice Cube. I'm from hip hop. That's what Ice Cube says. When he shows up, he's still Ice Cube. He smiles for the camera, but if you say something wrong, his smile will be like. <laughs> and he'll still Ice Cube because he still represents the culture. Even though he's in Hollywood and he's a big superstar, he still represents the culture because that's what got him to Hollywood. That's what I mean by representing the culture and still doing the commercial side. That's how we were. When we first started to do music videos and TV, the, the other dancers used to say, oh, you guys are sellouts, you're commercial dancers. But after we do the music video, we go to the club and battle everybody. Yeah, when we start to work with uh, pop stars like Michael and Mariah, you know, we didn't go pop. We changed them to hip hop. We made them hip hop. We don't go pop. You come to our culture. <laughs>